Perfect, everyone. We completed the slime, and now we can go to Riley's camp. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. We want to make a slime, too. We need to practice for camp. Can we please make a slime for Riley as well? Yeah, <laughs> worst case scenario. I have ten solutions how we can make them. And we can make four different slime types, too. Can we um, please participate? Hey everyone, welcome back to Nat and Essie. This is Nat, and how exciting. We are going to make four different ways of making slime, and we're going to base them on embarrassment, envy, anxiety, and ennui. This will be exciting and add some new colors to our slime. Making slime is pretty easy. The least amount of ingredients you need to make slime is two, the glue and an activator. After that, you can customize them any way you'd like. So who to pick first? Definitely anxiety. Anxiety is the color orange. Yep, we're definitely going to make some orange slime. But how will we customize it? I also want to change out my bowl. This one's a little dirty and I need to clean it. So we're going to use the green one. First step, add the glue. And to make a lighter orange, which I'd like, I'm going to do three or four drops of yellow and just one tiny drop of red. There we go. I have a whole bunch of smells and I think for anxiety, I want anxiety to smell like oranges. Obviously with the color orange, that's a great smell. So very carefully, I'm going to add just a, ooh, it always runs down my fingers, hair of a scent. Okay, time to mix and see if we like the color. I definitely like this color. Mix it real nicely. Does this remind you of anxiety? I think it does. Check it out. It looks just like anxiety. And it smells like oranges. Let's go ahead and put this down for a second. And now we add the activator into the solution. Woohoo! Time to mix it all together very carefully. The activator and the glue bind together to make a new element. And that way we can make slime. So let's carefully mix it. And when I'm ready, I'm going to dig in with my hands. We're going to mix, 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 and make our first slime scented and clear. Woohoo! Keep mixing. After about five minutes of kneading, check this out. Clear slime takes about five days to clear up. I think this looks amazing. It smells amazing. It's super stretchy. It makes great clicking noises. And this is the first way you can make slime. Using clear glue, activator, a little bit of color, and in this case, a scent. This one has bubbles everywhere to pop. Clear slime is fantastic, and whoa, um, anxiety, don't get stuck under there. Do you know how much anxiety claustrophobia causes? I have ten solutions how to get out of there. Number one solution, not just take it off of my head. The best spot is right here. We'll make a rainbow. So we'll move our fear over and add anxiety in. Hmm, the next one I think I want to make is for embarrassment. This slime will have to be pink since we already have a light purple, and of course, her skin color is pink. So let's get our mixing bowl ready. I definitely want my pink slime to be glossy. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of regular Elmer's glue into my mixing bowl, because that's how you make glossy slime. For some reason, I think this character smells like apples, so I'm adding some apple scent to this one. Glossy apple scented slime. And since I don't have any pink dye, I'm going to use pink sparkles. But because our cute character needs some love, 
Let's add some hearts so that embarrassment knows that we're thinking about her. So step one, adding some love into this slime. Step two, adding a whole bunch of pink. Step three, a little more pink. Woohoo! And now let's carefully mix until it's all together and we like this pink color. If we need more pink, we'll add more pink. But so far, it's looking very pretty. And I think embarrassment's going to add love, that we added some love into this slime. <gasps> it's looking like bubblegum. Oh, I should have bubblegum scented this one. That would have been perfect. And, I mean, come on, embarrassment does look a little bit like bubblegum. It's super duper messy at first. Wearing gloves is definitely recommended. I really should have scented this one bubblegum. It stretches just like bubblegum, looks like bubblegum, and oh my goodness. You can see all the hearts, and it totally would make bubbles. Let's try it. Okay, stretching it out, putting it on the table, look! There's bubbles all over. Pop them. This slime is fantastic. Next slime added to the back row, adding embarrassment. And ennui, or ennui, is next. We're going to make this one as dark as possible. Hmm. How are we going to make this slime a little different? I've decided for ennui, we're going to make a clear base with sparkles and a whole bunch of blue to make it as dark as possible. The clear base will let us make the slime a little bit darker. Using milky glue, it makes it a little bit lighter. So, clear base it is. A whole bunch of blue to make it as dark as possible. Some gray that matches Ennui's face color and the two packets. Now, I think that looks good. Let's carefully mix. Ooh. And if we like this color, we'll keep it. I think I used a whole bunch of blue. So this slime is going to actually be a glitter slime for ennui. Mix it up. Now the fun part. Let's get this mixing. And in this case, I might just add a hair of red to make it more a purple tint. So, one single drop of red, or two, let's make it a dark purple. There we go. That looks a lot more like the color we need. So check it out. I kind of overactivated it a little bit. The way to fix it is by adding more glue. But tell me this doesn't actually kind of look cool like Ennui's hair. So now we have a slime. Now of course over time if I let it sit it will bind back together and be normal. But tell me this does not remind you perfectly of Ennui's hair. Oh, clumpiness! Just like the hair of the character. It's already getting a lot better. But I wanted to stop right here because it's such funny looking slime. Look, it looks just like the hair. Ugh. And all we have left is our Envy character. Hmm. Teal is made with blue and green. So we're going to go ahead and make a teal colored slime. So let's go ahead and add the last little bit of clear that I have. And I'm going to add it to the bottom of the container. Oh no, it's not very much. And lastly, some milky glue. Teal is made by combining a drop of blue with two drops of green. And I want to keep this as basic as possible, just making a glossy slime. So we'll mix it all together. If it's not dark enough, we'll add one more drop of blue and two more drops of green. And I guess this is going to look perfect. Actually, I love the color. Now that we've made a perfect teal color, we're going to go ahead and do the last and final step, our activator. Woohoo! And like always, we're going to mix 
mix, mix. Until it binds together into slime. Perfect, perfect glossy slime for Envy. The last one we made was a glossy slime, most basic of slimes. It stretches so nicely and you can fold it. You can probably make bubbles out of this one. It has clicking noises and let's try the swirl that every slime maker makes. I'm not very good at it, but perfect. We're going to put it right here in between green and blue because that's how you make teal and put Envy on top. Great job, everyone. We've made every inside out character into slime from fear, ennui, sadness, envy. We've got disgust, joy, anxiety, and We've got anger and embarrassment. Wow, it's a rainbow. Nothing can go wrong now. Riley will be a fantastic camper and make the best slimes. Everyone made it to headquarters. We have to train and prepare ourselves for summer camp. Riley is out of school now, and we need to practice our slime making skills so that Riley can shine at camp. I made mine yesterday with joy. Oh, so I think I'm okay. Eek! Slime! What if it sticks to my eyebrows and pulls them off? That's my greatest fear! Or if it falls into a dark corner, oh my goodness, and makes the carpet all sticky! Ew, sticky. But I guess we have to do it for Riley. Oh, slime! When's this trend ever going to end? Joy, disgust, fear, sadness, and anger. Hey everyone and welcome back to Nat and Essie. Riley is getting ready for summer camp and all of our emotions have to practice making slime before Riley can go. We have two slimes already made and all we have to do is make one that matches fear, make one that matches anger, and make one that matches our disgust. I have some easy recipes to show you, and we can make our own fantastic slime in the colors of our favorite emotions. The minimum amount of ingredients you need to make slime is two. You need the glue and an activator. After that, you can customize it any way you'd like. We're going to start with fear and make a light purple slime. Start by using some glue and this time I'm using a solid white to make hopefully a light purple color. And now I'm going to add just a hair of purple paint just to give this a little bit of color. Light purple just like fear. Taking my mixing wand, I'm going to mix this all in and make sure it's the color I prefer before adding the activator. Light purple, just like fear. What do you guys think? Let's take our fear character. Hmm. It looks very similar, but I think I want just a little bit more purple just to get a little bit darker color. So I'll add one more drop of purple and mix this in together. Ooh, this is looking way more pretty. And I think this is how I want my purple to look like for fear. Once we have the color, and the ingredients we want, we add our activator. An activator binds to the glue and changes the chemistry to make it into slime. Mix it together, it's going to start looking like a brain. And after a few minutes, it's going to turn into a beautiful slime. Let's mix it together without breaking it and let's see what happens. Check it out. I think we made it.
we made some really nice purple glossy slime. So for, if you saw the video, Sadness, we made a little bit of a snow slime. For Joy, we made a glot, we made a see-through scented slime. And for our Fear, we now made a glossy purple slime. Ah! What if it touches me? Oh my goodness, wait a minute, that feels fantastic. That leaves us ugh, with two slimes left to make. And this one feels great. That looks super good. But for anger, we have a container. And because fire has so many different colors, for anger, let's make one fiery red with lots and lots of glitter. We're trying to make slime different for every character. So for anger to make the glitter shine, we use a clear base of glue. And now we want it to look like fire. Lots of different colors. Two drops of red dye. Lots of orange sparkles. Some pink sparkles. Of course, some fiery red sparkles. And I have these larger sparkles as well, just to give it a little bit of change. We're going to mix all of this together Wow, and create some fire slime. Those sparkles look so good in here. And it definitely looks like a perfect slime for anger. Mixing it all together, it's time to add our activator to make a perfect fiery slime. Mix it carefully. And we're creating slime five different ways to match the emotions of all of our characters. If you enjoy slime videos, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you do, I'll make the new emotions anxiety, embarrassment, ennui, and envy. Woo! Time to get my fingers in there. Check out that fire slime. Ugh! It's definitely not slime yet. It's still reacting to one another and binding. But the color of fire is definitely there. Mix, mix, mix. Getting the slime made. Mix, mix, mix. Making some fiery, fiery slime. <gasps> Glitter slime. Five different ways of making slime. And this one is fire red for anger. It even looks like a fire. And it plays with so nicely. What do you think of all these sparkles and there's bubbles? Let's clean this one up. We only have one more slime to make to make the five core emotions into slime. And then Riley will have a good time at summer camp. Placing it into our glass container. Perfect for anger. That's beautiful. We've got one left for disgust. So we've made a scented slime that will turn clear over a few days. We've made a glossy slime, a cloud slime, and a fire slime. Hmm, what can we make for our disgust character that might be a little bit different than the others? Let's make a hodgepodge. A little bit of clear slime or glue, milky glue, just a few green sparkles, and a little bit of cloud beads, some green paint, and lastly, some glow-in-the-dark glue. That's a fifth type. We're making glow-in-the-dark slime for disgust. That's a lot of ingredients. Ooh, we're going to have to carefully mix it together and make sure it turns into a green that we enjoy. If we don't like the color, 
we can always add more green pigment. Mix it away. It's turning out pretty light, almost like her face. So I might, if it doesn't turn out perfect, make it a little bit darker to match her hair. Let's see what it looks like. You know what? I like that color. It's time to add the activator and make a hodgepodge, which is a mixture of many things, into Disgust Slime. At first we mix carefully and then we can dig in with our hands. Clean off our magic wand of all the debris. And I think I'm ready. Ooh, it never feels good at first. But at the end, it always turns out so nice. This one almost makes me think of broccoli. Ew. Actually, I love broccoli. It's perfect. And it's so clumpy and nice. We can almost make it look like broccoli. And check it out. With everything inside, it's got this fun texture. It's a little bit different than anything I've ever made. It feels almost like chewed up bubble gum. Really thick, but wants to be a cloud, but we didn't put enough cloud substance in, so we can make it into like a poofy little broccoli. Let's stuff the broccoli titled slime into our last container. And now we've got one slime for every core emotion. Riley is going to be ready for camp. All the emotions now know how to make a different type of slime. Riley will for sure stand out. All the emotions now have to wait a minute. Don't anxiety and we envy and embarrassment have to make one too? Let's find them. We need to make one more round of slime so that Riley is going to be fantastic. And so are you. Also, if you want to see the slime that Joy and I made, um, Head over to Nat and Essie and watch the video and we'll show you how to make our slimes. They were fantastic. Surprise! It's a wonderful day for competitions. I didn't know Riley had a hockey game today. It's Monday. No, silly. It's not a hockey day. It's a day where we're going to have a competition in the Mind Control Center. Ew, competitions? If I don't win, ugh, who would want to participate? What are you talking about? Competition? I haven't practiced. I haven't got into my best, best form yet. Um, um, competition, competition. Oh, um, how about I pass today? Just like discussed. Um, not today, not today. Nobody told me about this meeting. I guess it will have to be a competition between joy and sadness. Oh, okay. How does this competition work? I'm ready. Yippee competition! Come on, I'll show you how it goes. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nat and Essie. It's competition day, and for our first competition, we are making a joy and sadness slime. Ooh, competition between the two heroes. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to make a sadness slime, and a joy slime and at the end you get to pick which one is your favorite so make sure to watch till the end to see which one is your favorite okay I am going to play a fun game in here I have lots of items that can help us make slime red dye blue sparkles Ooh, what if one of them got like these colored sparkles yellow dye we're going to blindly put our hands in okay here we go and for sadness I got blue dye which is perfect oh and I got blue sparkles it was almost made perfect for her I also get to pick maybe one on my own. Do you see anything in here that's sadness related? How about these blue sparkles all the way at the end? Here are my three items I get to use to make a sadness slime. It worked out perfectly that everything is blue, 
but what if I accidentally got something wrong? Okay, let's go ahead and mix up our slime. We'll add these ingredients and then our activator and we'll put our slime, woo, in one of these jars for sadness. For the base of my slime, I'm going to use some clear glue. Now let's try and make sadness. Let's add two drops of blue dye, a whole bunch of light blue pigment, ooh, maybe some more, and lastly, lots of blue sparkles. Sparkles, get in there! Shake, 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 shake! It's time to mix everything together. And I'm using my magic wand because I can't find a spoon anywhere. Mix it, mix it until it's all perfect together in the glue. Wow! What do you think? We have to mix it. It's turning out perfect sadness color. I absolutely love that! Look at that! But now, to magically turn this into slime, we have to add an activator. The activator is a chemical reaction that turns slime, or glue, into slime. Ooh, so pretty. Huh? Sadness? A secret ingredient? What is it? Are we making your slime into a cloud slime? Yes! Check this out. We're going to add a little bit of this cloud substance right into our slime. And we really don't need much at all. Stir it in carefully. It is going to change the texture of the slime. Let's try a little bit more. Do you see it kind of expanding? I think that's enough. One, two, three, four, five. That's, that seems like enough. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Maybe a little more. We got to make her slime super cloudy. That has to be enough. Oh my goodness, it's almost drying out. There's so much cloud substance in here. Time to add the activator. Oh, stir it together. This is getting hard as a rock. Maybe I put way too much of that uh, cloud into this. Whoa, look at it. Let's see if we can even save it. Okay, we're gonna mix, mix, mix. I'm gonna get this off of my magic wand. Oh my goodness. And we're going to go ahead and mix it with our hand and get all of this reacting together to make, hopefully, some really fun cloud slime. Let's see what happens. I think we did it. Check it out. Whoa, sadness. That is some super cool slime. She made in and out blue sadness slime. This is amazing sadness. Let's go ahead, place it in Sadness's container, unscrew the lid, and stuff all of this cloudy slime, if we can, inside. It might take a second. Hold on. Because it's so super duper sticky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It fits the container size perfectly, but my fingers are stuck inside. Okay. Closing up our first made inside out slime. And now it's time for joy. Let's collect our three random items. For joy. What's this? Oh, it's a scent. Ooh, orange smell. What's this? Oh, yellow color. Okay, and lastly, hmm, what else are we gonna get for Joy? Ooh, blue hair. 
Yes, that's perfect for Joy. We've got, we'll make an orange slime or a yellow slime and we'll add some blue on top. The base of all of our slimes is of course glue. So let's add the glue to the bowl. Next up, we need to make it yellow and bright yellow. So I added a whole lot of drops and then we get to make this, whoa, scented. Ooh, that's a lot of scent in there. I am going to smell like, oh no, that's actual glue. Oranges for the rest of the day. Let's go ahead and mix, mix, mix. See if we like the yellow color for Joy. I think I like that. That's so pretty. And yellow. And it's time to add the activator. It's going to change it quite a bit. Here we go. Just carefully mix that all together. Check out Joy Slime. I'm loving it. Super duper yellow. And oh my gosh, if you guys could smell this, it smells like an orange in my office. Mix it, mix it, mix it until it's ready. And the time to get our fingers sticky. No, yellow. I wasn't expecting yellow fingers, but I guess I should have. Ooh. Let's clean off our magic wand. And I'm just going to get one hand dirty. Look at that. Oh, yellow gooey slime. We're going to keep mixing. If it's still too sticky after about one minute, I'm going to go ahead and add more activator. Mix, 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 mix. Until this sticky mess is not sticky. Ooh, Joy. We now made two different types of slime. But Joy's, it smells delicious. And oh my goodness, this glossy yellow. So now we've made two types of slime. We made a cloud slime, we made clear slime, but with a whole bunch of yellow and scents. And next time we're going to try, hmm, maybe sadness and disgust and fear all together, or maybe some of the new emotions. Quick, let's go put this in our container. I love this slime so much. We'll open it up, but wait a minute. We haven't used our last ingredient, which was blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick all of my yellow slime in to the bottom here. And then I'm going to take my blue sparkles and make her hair and add some to the very top, like this. We'll get some on the sides here, just like Joy's hair. Which slime do you guys like more? And if you think Joy and Sadness made great slime, don't forget to give them a big thumbs up. So now we've got a Sadness and Joy slime. And next time we get to make our Disgust, Fear, and also anger. If you guys enjoy this and leave a thumbs up, I'll even make envy, anxiety, embarrassment, oh my goodness, and Inui next. We hope you enjoyed our slime!